So uh, right now the the topic is uh, amazing security how to on the last 15 SP3. So this topic only mentioned how to. So I, I will not uh, explain the internal how it works because I don't know neither. But even the how to, the, the list of operations is uh, is boring and uh, very detailed. And I spent uh, quite a long time to to make it work. So I, I want to share it with others because we have uh, more and more customs require the MADM security feature. Okay, the first, uh, I, I live in Beijing, China. I work in labs, uh, storage and network team. I maintain MD RAID, device mapper, Bcache, and uh, MADM. Uh, also, uh, I'm upstream Bcache maintainer. Uh, okay. The, the MAD in this topic is uh, specific to Intel Optin DC persistent memory. And the device model is Apache Pass. That's the first generation of the Intel uh, DC PMM. The major MAD security features mentioned in this talk is uh, mainly is uh, encrypt and uh, disk, uh, decrypt. And also I will mention the erase and the security freeze. But most of the major content is about encrypt and decrypt. Also the TPM, trust platform model, uh, to hardware support is required. It indeed is uh, mandatory for trust the key outloaded during boot time. That means that for the, uh, for the software evaluated uh, environment or just uh, the encrypted key. The key will not be automatically loaded during the boot time. So people have to manually load the keys. And it is as designed that the keys must be loaded before the lib MAD kernel model loaded. Uh, so for the reboot and uh, make everything work, we must uh, use the TPM hardware. Otherwise, otherwise uh, the key won't be autoloaded. Okay. Uh, for the purpose of MADM security, uh, that is, uh, MADM is not like a uh, DRAM. For the DRAM, when the power is off, all the content will go. But for, for the MAD, the written information will still exist after the power off. And the people can plug out the DIM and the plug in or other servers and access the stored data. So uh, the MAD bank can be moved to somewhere else and uh, even the machine, the machine can be assigned to other teams with the different access privilege. So if there are sensitive or security information on the team, we, uh, there must be some method to protect them from some unpermitted access. So that's the major purpose. And the, the NVDM encryption and the key management, they just combine together. Uh, the NVDM content is uh, encrypted by hardware and uh, almost uh, transparent to Linux kernel. That means that uh, once the NVDM is uh, encrypted, so we, we, we can just uh, uh, check the status from uh, Linux kernel or user space too. Uh, and there is no other extra uh, OS functionality required during we access the encrypted data. Also in my testing, it's quite interesting that 
uh, I expect when the encryption is enabled, there might be some performance apparent for my testing. No. So I don't know how the encryption is designed and implemented, but for my testing, I do not observe uh, the performance lost, even mm, the content is uh, encrypted. I don't know why. And the encryption key is uh, managed by uh, key utils. So that's also something lack of uh, document, lack of uh, enough document. Yeah, the document is just about how to use the the things, but for some corner cases, they don't explain. Uh, and I was lucky to hit many corner cases. Yeah. Uh, the for for the people to use the MAD encryption, uh, what we identify and manage is the KEK. That is uh, the key encryption key key used to encryption the key and the, the the real encryption key is invisible to us we just use the the key encryption key uh, and the the encryption key it is stored in non volatile memory area in tpm hardware and this nvm area is uh, is quite small so only very limited information can be stored on it. And once we stored the encryption key in the TPM hardware, a handler number, it is called a key handle in the term of TPM, is returned by the hardware to identify the NVM area. And this number is uh, necessary because during the reboot, we need this uh, key handler to identify where to fetch the key. But I, I don't know who will fetch the key, just in, just pri private the, the handler to the key utils. And the key utils may create a trusted key and uh, store it into the TPM NVM area, which is specified by a previous key handle. So, <clears throat> so the, the key handle is, uh, when, when the first time we create the trusted key, the key handle is necessary. And after the reboot, uh, we also need to provide the key handle in the file to make the ND control utility to automatic load the trusted key. Uh, and the, the ND control encrypts MAD by the previous created trusted key. Uh, I need to mention that without the trusted key, the MAD security feature can also be set up and used, but the key won't be automatically loaded after reboot. So every time um, we need to write a, a script to do all the things manually. And uh, we store the handler number in file that etc and control keys tpm dot handle. Uh, a mistake I made is uh, I thought that's not tpm, that's tmp, that's some 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 temporary handle, but finally I found that that's tpm handle. It means uh, this handle is used for tpm to identify the stored the trusted key in their NVM area. Okay, and uh, right now I will list all the detail steps. So the boring part will start. Uh, the detail, mainly it will uh, combine the three things together. And uh, all the documents I read each group people just write their own document and, ass and assume the other part document are okay. And indeed, they're not okay. For example, uh, 
the TPM uh, in the doc kernel document, there is the command line example to how to set up the persisted key area for TPM hardware. Unfortunately, the document was wrong. Uh, the, the command line was not correct. So I just guess, try different combination that I can imagine and then finally I find something just work. And I post a patch uh, to the kernel mailing list and I got a response that yes, that's it. Mm. So the, the key management and the TPM and the MED management, the three things combined together. Uh, so many details and uh, uh, every step should be performed correctly. Otherwise, maybe you will encounter some uh, corner case that the, 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 the encrypted key won't load it automatically and uh, you will see the MED is locked and uh, cannot be accessed. Okay, uh, in my example, this is the hardware configuration. Uh, I have a Lenovo Sync System SR650 server with uh, four 128 gigabyte Intel Optin Apache Pass MED. So the, the command line uh, IPM control, I guess that means uh, Intel percent memory. Shodim can see that uh, the lock state is their uh, security state. Disabled means the security feature is not enabled yet. And uh, uh, for the lock state, the av available states are disabled. That means the security is not enabled and unlocked. The unlocked state means security is enabled and uh, the key is loaded and uh, matched. So the MAD is uh, decrypted and can be accessed by read and write. Uh, another stat status is uh, locked. Locked means the key is not loaded correctly or does not match. So the MAD uh, won't be accessed if there is namespace created on the locked MAD the namespace won't show up. The frozen, frozen means uh, uh, currently this theme uh, freeze the, for all security operations. That means once a theme is frozen, then the following uh, operations to enable or disable the security feature will be rejected. And the overwrite, overwrite, uh, I didn't find the method to set the override status at this moment. And uh, all these states can be combined. For example, uh, we can see unlock and the frozen shows up together. That means uh, this MAD is descriptive and uh, freest. So people can read and write on this MAD, but they cannot uh, disable the security feature on this thing because the security operations are frozen. And the, the, the frozen state will be released after reboot. Okay. The initial state of the MAD is uh, disabled by the command IPM control show dash D log state dash D. We can see the log state just disabled. And for the ND control list dash D, the dash D means uh, list themes. We can see the, the security field is disabled. That, that means uh, the security feature is not enabled yet. And uh, we 
Now we check the status of the security keys. Uh, the keys management will use uh, key utils. And uh, the key management is related to the current session. That means if someone uh, switch to the uh, used sudo switch to the root bash or just use su to switch the root user uh, such command will not switch to the root user session so uh, run the key control show command uh, will not uh, print the key range of the root user. It is still the previous user's key range status. So uh, to make it work correctly, we need to log into the system with the root user or switch to the root user by su dash. Uh, I spend several time to figure out the difference that we must explicitly log into the system with the root user. Yeah. And then uh, by the key control show, we can see the correct output of the current key rings. That is, we have a user level key rings and the, the, the handle number is uh, with one and with five. This is the correct initial status of the keys. So, and now we start to create a storage key in TPM. That is, we need to request a storage space to store. Uh, later, we will create the trusted key to store the trusted key in the TPM hardware. Yeah. To, uh, the TPM2 tools package is required and uh, I just ass assumed it already installed and uh, use this command tpm2 underscore create primary dash dash hierarchy o dash g rc uh, 2048 dash c key dot ctxt uh, I don't know. I don't know what each arguments mean in detail. Just a guess. And from the document, the document is funny. The document is just explained the hierarchy is hierarchy. Uh, RC twenty forty eight is a kind of uh, algorithm, and uh, the key dot c text is the key context file. That's it. Uh, there's no internal how they work information. Even I, in order to understand the command, I also uh, bought a book about a TPM 2.0 and no very helpful information find from it. So it just work. And from the current document, uh, the this command line example was run. Uh, so in, in my uh, PPT, this example is correct. And after run this command, we can see the screenshot on the right side. This, uh, this is the output. Uh, also, I just, I, can, I, I see the output and I can read the English, but I don't know, understand what does it mean. It just work. And after that command, I use another command. That's a tpm2 dash invict control and uh, the dash c just to use the previous created key, con key context file and uh, just the mandatory provide a specified a number that is uh, eight one and the five zeros and the one. Uh, I asked. James Bottomley, what does it mean? He explained, but uh, from 
for my understanding is uh, this number just work. There is a reason and uh, it just work. So that's it. That's it. After this command, uh, I know that uh, uh, there is a persi persistent space allocated for this handler. And uh, if I create a trusted key and specify this handler, then the trusted key can be linked to the storage area in the TPM2 hardware. That's my understand. And the later, uh, during the reboot, the autoload will use this handler to fetch the key from the TPM hardware. And now, uh, it's time to create the trusted key for MVD encryption. Uh, for this example, we name the trusted key as uh, NVD uh, minus master, and uh, it belongs to the user ring. And we connect it to the key handle 81, 450, and uh, 1 for TPM2 hardware. So in my test, I found that sometimes uh, the key and the trusted command will fail. With the information, it's failed. And uh, no other clue. So I I just traced the system call, find that they call some uh, system uh, some control about control command about the, the key so i start to trace the kernel code and finally find that there is a kernel model called the trusted is necessary and even the i don't know why sometimes even the the trusted kernel model is combined into the kernel it may still fail and uh, if we find the fail maybe maybe the, the solution just to run the model prop trusted to explicit load the trusted kernel model i don't know why sometimes even it is combined in the kernel it still need to run this command and then we we, we run the command uh, key control add trusted that means that the key tab is trusted and that's the key name is nvd master and uh, the new 32 is uh, the new key and the length is the 32 and the key handle uh, equal a number. The number is the key handle for the TPM hardware. And the finally there is the at u means uh, this key belongs to the user type ring, key ring. After this command run, we, we can see the command line return a number. 764AA3A56. That's the key handler of this trusted type key named MED master. And later we will use the number to identify the this trusted key. And then we run the key control. We can see that there is a, there is a K named the trusted and uh, MAD master. That means the trusted and the name is MAD master. Uh, and his uh, its uh, handler number is uh, 764AA3A56. That's what returned from the command line when we created the key. Now, the, this trusted key is created and uh, we linked it to the TPM hardware. So next reboot, it is possible to fetch this key from the TPM hardware. Okay, now we need to create a KEK. That's a key encryption key blob file. Uh, at the non-native English speaker, I don't understand what is a blob. It seems like a blob, uh, just a blob. I don't know why, just, yeah, just, but it is required mandatory the the post fix of the file should be blob. 
and the, uh, the key control pipe uh, will print the KEK content. And we need to dump the KEK content to this blob file. The, the, the naming rule is uh, uh, the first part is the, the location. We, we must store the blob file in etc and the control keys. And the, the blob file name is the trusted keys name. And the, the post fix name is blob, just a blob. And if we if the key is not a trusted key, uh, for example, it's an encrypted key, the content is not readable. So if the content is a uh, readable characters that if you can see the readable characters of the content, that means so far all the operations are correct. So if you print the content of the MAD master blob, you can see some uh, mess up characters that that means you must do something wrong. Now you need to go back and uh, see what you missed. Ah, oh, thank you. Block of opaque binary data. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, you know that uh, when I read the blob, it doesn't make any sense to me, just like uh, the slab allocator. I, I don't know why I call it a slab. S similar things, no sense to me any, at all. Thank you, could be sick and uh, uh, Kony. Uh, okay, let, let me continue. And the next step is uh, uh, we need to store the TPM key handle in tpm.handle file. This is uh, necessary. If we don't store this handle, handler number in this file, uh, the trusted key won't be loaded at the boot time by the ND control load case command. Yeah, this is very necessary. Okay, right now, uh, all the prepare steps are done. We can start to set up the encryption for NAD. Uh, on my system, there are four DMs. There are two region. One uh, for the region zero, that's uh, MM zero and MM two. For the region one, that's MM one and MM three. Uh, it is it is named something like the interleave. Uh, that is uh, the 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 different team bonded to different CPU socket, <laughs> and uh, the the procedure is uh, first, we need to disable the range, uh, range. If we want to encrypt in some things, we need to disable the range. And then we set up the passphrase. That means to set up the keys to encrypt the MAD. And after the setup is done, we, we re-enable the region. Now the MAD is encrypted and we can create a namespace on it. Uh, and next time, if the key is not loaded correctly, the MAD won't show up because uh, it is encrypted. So the command is uh, the command is uh, an ND control disable dash region all and just disable all the regions and uh, ND control setup dash path freeze and MAM zero. That's uh, I will encrypt the number zero MAD DIN and dash key. Dash key is uh, to identify the the key. The trusted is the type. The type is trusted key. And the second part is uh, the trusted key name. Yeah. And the, the, the command line returns a uh, password phrase enabled for one and man. 
that means the setup is correct. And uh, the finally, to run an ND control, enable dash region all. We can see that enable the two regions. That means uh, all the themes are encrypted correctly and uh, they are enabled correctly. If you see this uh, information, that means up to now, all the steps, all the steps are correctly. But uh, normally, you want to see this. Uh, I believe, I believe, yeah. Normally, people will miss one or two steps because of the incomplete document. Okay. Uh, in this example, I I I just uh, uh, encrypt two of the themes. So for after the themes are encrypted uh, from the K control show, we can see uh, there are two more encrypted type uh, keys created by the ND control. And these two keys are specific for the encrypted MAD bank. And also we can See, there are two KUK block file specific for this two MAD bank. And uh, there is there is something we need to pay attention specifically this every time when the MAD is encrypted. The KUK blob file might be different. I mean the encrypted type kk blob file might be different so do remember update the initrd the initial i initial rd image do remember to update it otherwise it's very probably you want to see the key is loaded correctly and very probably after the reboot you will see your mvd is locked And uh, now we can check MVDM security states by the IPM control show dash D lock state dash D. And now you can see that uh, for the, the first two D, we encrypt it and the, the key is loaded correctly. The status is unlocked. The unlocked status means uh, this encrypted D can be read and write. Yeah, and the, the the last two themes, the state is disabled. Uh, that is in in this page in this specific example, I do not set uh, the path phrase for them. So their security feature is disabled. And uh, now we need to reboot the initial RD image before reboot. Uh, this is also another tricky part because from the document, the example of the draw cut conf D, the, for the ND control dot conf, uh, they do not include the last part, etc ND control keys. They do not include this part. And the, the so the initial RD won't keep the trusted key and the, the blob, KEK blobs for the encrypted MVD banks. So obviously the, the key won't load it correctly. So because I, I don't know how the, the, the draw card the draw card works, I just try, retry, retry. Finally I found ah it works. So I know that the correct the lines should be in the TP like uh, install option items. That's we should have a uh, key control in the initial RD, and we need to have uh, ND control in the initial RD, and we need to have uh, all the key, all the keys, not only the, uh, not only the trusted key. 
but also all the blob files for the encrypted banks, embedding banks. And uh, for the modulprop.d, there is a conf configuration file called mvdm-security.conf. Uh, this content is ident identical to the document, to the kernel document, how to set it. So just uh, copy it in the content file. For SUSE, for SUSE Linux, we we have the default content in this file and we don't need to modify it. Yeah, so all the purpose uh, of the above change is just to load the keys before nvdim.ko is loaded. Uh, this is I design that once the nvdim kernel model is loaded, uh, then after that, we load the keys. Then all the keys won't decrypt the encrypted MVD. This is our design. Uh, so we need to load all the keys before the MVD, uh, MVD.ko loaded. So for the environment, which there is no uh, TPM hardware, if people still want to automatically load the keys for the MAD security feature, they need to make sure their script will load the keys before the MAD kernel model is loaded. And update the initial RD is simple, just run draw card dash F, that's enough. But always remember update the initial ID after you encrypt some banks, some emitting bank. So if everything is configured properly until now, after reboot and the log into the system as root again, you may see the encrypted key, uh, encrypted emitting's log state are uh, unlocked. That means, okay, everything is okay. It works. The keys is uh, loaded and uh, matched. And you can just uh, read and uh, write on the encrypted MVD. And uh, if unlock, if you're unlucky after reboot, and uh, I believe that it's very probably you're unlucky, and and you will see the lock state is locked. The lock means the security feature is enabled, but the key is not loaded or the key does not match. So the encrypted emitting bank is locked and uh, unaccessible. And it's very probably, you can see there is a exceed after the locked state. That means uh, the, the retry failed enough times. So you must uh, shut down the machine, uh, plug out the power supply, and then plug on the power supply to try it again. I I don't think it's a code recite because we we need to power off the, the main board. Yeah. Even the main board should be power off and then power on the whole system to retry. If we see the exceeded lock state, that means uh, that the, the hardware won't try anymore. Just uh, totally locked up. Yeah. The right now we 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 I will say something about the troubleshooting. Yeah, I will uh, say something about the troubleshooting. Indeed, that uh, all the trouble I encountered, I just corrected in this uh, document, 
and also uh, I updated detailed document in the internal conference page. But um, it's quite <coughs> trivial. Even I write a document and I also make a mistake. Uh, the, the classic mistake is to forget update the initial RD after encrypting a new MAD. If this part is missed, then the automatic load won't load the missing key and uh, we will see a locked status MAD in bank. And also do not lost the blob file. If the MAD is encrypted and uh, you lost the blob file, that depends. That depends the, re the relationship from your hardware vendor. The hardware means that the server. Normally, they have the some uh, specific tool to we need some specific specific tool to totally erase all the information on the MD bank then we can use it but we need to ask the hardware vendor for the specific utility or tool to do that Uh, I see a question. Unless we want to boot from, we probably rather delay a lot. Yes, Martin, you're right. You're right. Uh, we need to we need to delay uh, the the load. We need to delay the load of the kernel mod. Yeah. The Enzo, let me see. I'm not sure I understand the part that the vendor can recover. Uh, no, no, not recover the key. Uh, Enzo, if the blob of file is lost, it the everything bank. Just a, a dead, a dead sand. Just dead sand. You 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 can't open it. You can't read it, or write it. The key is lost, is unrecovered. What we need to connect to the vendor to erase all the information and uh, make it to, to be a blank, a live bank again. Okay, the next page. That's a security freeze. Security freeze, uh, uh, the command is just a ND control, freeze security, and then uh, specify all or some uh, individual emitting bank's name. Uh, the, the freeze must be performed when the regions is disabled. If the region is enabled, the freeze command will be rejected. So we need to uh, disable the range and uh, then freeze the security. After the command returned, all following security operation will be rejected until next reboot. And uh, on Okay, uh, and on the 5.9 kernel, uh, if the DIM is locked, we can't freeze it. Okay, for this, this is uh, this is an example for the security freeze. And the last example is the security erase. The erase is something very similar to remove the path freeze but uh, still keep the namespace label. That means uh, uh, everything will be removed and the lock state will change from unlocked to disabled, but uh, the namespace still exists. Just that the content is, uh, is cleaned, but uh, the namespace still uh, exists. But for the remove uh, face, the namespace, namespace will also be destroyed. That's the difference.
Okay, right now it's a Q and A, and uh, I, I just want to comment that the internal how it works is still unclean to me, uh, and need more time to explore. And all the content just based on a lot of retry after failure, retry after failure. And uh, if you fail to encrypt or decrypt Intel, uh, Intel often Apache Pass MD, don't be depressed. That's it. That's it. Just a retry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Colin. Uh, it's uh, just the time. Um, there was a discussion on the chat. If uh, when you lose the blob files, if you basically break the device or if you just lose the data. Uh, if uh, without the support from the vendor, that means uh, the the device is dead. Uh, we need we need to ask the support from a vendor. Normally, they will uh, provide a spicy, a special special tool, or they will provide a special bias, uh, and we need to flush the bias into some. Uh, maintenance state and uh, use some uh, special tools to to reset all the content on the dead MAD and then flush the normal BIOS back and <laughs> and then that that's a blank MAD back to use yeah but the, the the method depends on the hardware vendor and this was also hi this is speaking and this was also pre precisely the point of having the NVIDIA security such um, the overall idea was to guarantee that no one can access your data and um, that includes that um, when you lose the key you have lost your data and arguably on also the dim because there might be chances that um, you can get access to the dim via some whatever means so locking the dim completely is the only sane operation here not what what you would expect, nor what is very useful, nor user friendly, but that wasn't the idea. The idea was to make it safe and secure. Okay, uh, and uh, it's Enzo here. Uh, so, uh, as, as we were discussing on the chat here, uh, there's a key for the module to, uh, you know, like you said, to to uh, as a proof of ownership. And then there is the encryption key. The, these are separate keys. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. The the all the keys we can touch, just the key key, the the key encryption key, not uh, the yeah. real key to encrypt uh, the MAD. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the last point I want to mention that if someone copy the blob file and uh, plug out the MAD, move both to another machine, plug the MAD in the new machine and uh, copy the blob file to the new uh, machine's operating system. It's very probably the MAD won't be accessed. I don't try it because I only have a single machine. Uh, from the we can confirm this is the case. Yeah, yeah. From the TPM document, uh, it is there is something called a PCR, uh, the Platform Control Register. If we change the s machine, the PCR will change, and uh, uh, they find that the TP, uh, PCR does not match. So even we have the correct key key, but uh, the 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 MAD bank won't be decrypted yeah that's the last point I want to mention uh, yeah thanks so I hope uh, or if you have more questions get in touch with Kole because we are now moving to the other talks so thank you Kole once again yeah and thank now you. I'm stopping the recording yeah thank you all thank you all so uh, I will